Hey kids, uh, it's time to start working our arms. So how do you work your upper body? One classic way is to be able to do the push-ups, okay? So we want to make sure we get our push-ups in. Kira's going to do them straight on. I'm going to face the side with you. Um, the fact is, is that some of you are at different levels. So we're going to talk about both levels. Right now we're going to start with um, making sure our knees are on the ground, feet are up. And so we are using um, our knees as the rotation. So this is an easier push-up. So we'll do three like this. One, two, three. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Or you might be able to get up. Again, have your feet nice and straight, your butt nice and flat. Okay? And we head down for three. One, two, three. Now, if you're doing push ups, everybody's different. Everybody's got different upper body strength. Some of you guys could probably crank out, say, three sets of 20. Three sets of 15, three sets of 10, whatever it might be. I know for those of you who can do them a lot, here's another option you get. We're going to call it a negative. So I call this a negative. We're slow on the depress, and then we go normal on pressing up. So as we uh, decline to the ground, as we depress, we make sure that we're nice and slow, and we come back up. We do four like that and show you it's a really great way to hold uh, just some of the resistance in your body and develop a little bit better of a workout. So... Um, doing things like that is super important. So, we're going to do four of these. I call them negatives. Nice and slow down. And up. One. We'll just do three of them. Two. Three. So to get into workout, if you notice that some things are a little bit too easy, don't be afraid to go ahead and get a, a negative in and be able to make that happen, okay? All right, the next one we're going to do is a burpee, okay? Burpee goes like this. You can do these. Might not want to be on concrete. Maybe it will be easier on the ground, okay? But you're going to go down, hands to the floor. You're going to kick your feet out. You're going to do a push-up. You're going to bring your feet back to you, and you're going to stand up. And we're going to try to do five of them at, at, a, pretty good, at a pretty good pace, okay? So we'll do a couple of them slow, then we'll do five of them fast, okay? So it's down, kick your feet out, up, back, and up, okay? So that's kind of the slow part of it. We'll go, we'll go slow again. Down. Feet out, press, feet in, and up. The nice thing is you can get good tempo with these to be able to do, say, three sets of ten. would be a great opportunity to get an upper body workout, just a whole body workout to your cardio really gets going and steady. So we'll do five of them nice and quick. You ready? Ready? Go. One. Two. Three, four, five. You notice if I'm not careful, I end up cheating. I kick my feet out too early, but make sure that you do that all right. I have a chair in the garage, a red chair. Could you go get that? In order to try to make workouts work, sometimes you have to be creative, find different things to use. So, uh, in this situation, we want to be able to work our triceps. So working your triceps is sometimes a little bit challenging. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a chair to show you how I can make that work. And then in there, I have two dumbbells, and I also have a five-gallon bucket. So if we grab a chair, we can go ahead as we're sitting on it, we extend out. And this allows us to depress and extend. This could be a tricep press. You can do three sets of eight of these. But using your chair, great way to get a tricep workout. Okay? So, so far you have push-ups, and you also have your tricep extensions, and you have your burpees. Now, my favorite 
upper body lift to get in other than push-ups if I'm just doing basic weight resistance is to get in pull-ups. You don't want to ever put yourself in danger, so if you don't have a good opportunity to do pull-ups somewhere, then don't do it. But maybe you do. Maybe you have access to a pull-up bar at your house. But doing pull-ups works a lot of the core muscle groups in your upper body. So pull-ups are awesome. A lot of you do have access to dumbbells. So, as I go ahead and grab these dumbbells, don't do dumbbell curls like this, okay? It's not how we do them, okay? You try to keep that elbow flat to the body and you are extending up and out, okay? Never back like that, up and out. So as you hold them like this, you can see it goes just a little bit off the angle to the side. You could go ahead and get your resistance in Whatever you feel is right, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, okay? You don't want to be rocking your back, okay? Nice and balanced as you're coming through, okay? Now, let's say that you want to use 40s, but you don't got any 40s. You got 20s. Here's a great thing that I like to do as well, and that's a negative, okay? You could go ahead and slow as you're coming up. That's a nice negative option, creating a little bit more resistance as you're slow on the way up. Here's another option I like. I'm going to drop one. And I'm going to do it what I call a 21. That's seven up, with seven from the down position, seven from the up position, then seven full. It gives a great workout. Watch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Then I go up here, only halfway down. I do seven of those. And after I get done with seven of those, then I drop to seven full. And that really generally starts to create a burn in that bicep. Now, if you don't have an opportunity to pull ups, you don't have curls, what you can do is the last thing is this. Five gallon bucket works perfect. Feel set some weight in. And although it's not ideal, it's better than nothing. But being able to get at least the lower part of your curl, you can usually get to about two thirds of that curl. Maybe not all the way up, but the lower portion is the more important part of the curl anyway. Try to make sure you're not swinging the basket, but that's a great way to get at least a little bit of a workout. Yeah, I feel this just like I did with the other ones, okay? So, there's your arm workout. We're gonna get to your legs here and then agility in a second. Good to see you.